So this is the morning or the night before the Pink Alicious birthday party for my youngest daughter and this is pretty much ready to go except for obviously making the punch and then in that little vase right there we're going to have balloons on like the stick. And so that's the only thing that's missing from there. And then this is the table set up. This is my regular dining room table that does have a leaf that we usually do not use and the table is usually going this way. But I went ahead and put the leaf in turned it the other direction and took the two homeschooling room chairs and made extra room since we're going to have so many kids. And also we could have some people that can sit there at the bar if they want or the snack bar if they want to. This is the craft we have set up and um, everything on this table except for the pink placemat came from the Dollar Tree. So um, I have these heart doilies and then the foam crowns came from the Dollar Tree. Um, of course the sequins didn't and these are just silicone cupcake liners that I use to keep the different colors of sequins divided. But the pink feathers and the purple feathers and then the pink plates that they're on came from Dollar Tree. The pink vase came from Dollar Tree. This is the little kind of curtain I made going between the living room and the kitchen. Just a hot pink uh, plastic tablecloth from Hobby Lobby and some doilies that I strung on some fishing line. Those doilies came from the Dollar Tree as well. Here in the living room, I have the goodie bags set up. And these are the goodie bags that I have put together for the girls. And again, dollar store, everything except for the, the pink ribbon. Um, the little pink bags. This heart tray came from their Valentine stuff. The doilies came from the Valentine stuff. And like I just got these uh, little cupcake picks off the Pinkalicious website. And instead of using them for cupcakes, I just used them to attach with a hole punch and the ribbon. To kind of make it look more pinkalicious-y and not so much valentine-y. But if you do read the Pinkalicious book, there's doilies in a lot of the backgrounds of the pictures. And that's one reason why we did use the doilies. But I didn't want it to look terribly valentine-ish. So I put her little picture there and then wrote each girl's name. So Annabelle Alicious and so on with that. This is our little photo area. And these are just plastic tablecloths. The light pink one came from the Dollar Tree. And the bright pink one came from Hobby Lobby. The little pink fan came from Hobby Lobby. The cupcake cutouts came from the Dollar Tree just like last week. And this board was just a picture I found of Pinkalicious on the internet. I printed it out and took it to Kinko's and they blew it up in three strips. And then I just lined it up and mounted it to this foam board that we painted pink with acrylic craft paint. And lining it up was the hard part. And then to kind of embellish it, there was a star wand there. I just put some yellow glitter and then attached some little pink ribbon, which is the same ribbon from the goodie bags, goodie bags. Um, attached it to make it 3D. And the same thing with the cupcake. I just added a sparkly pom-pom where the cherry was and left the little stem poking out. So we're gonna set it up and the, this will be the backdrop. The little girls will stand here with their faces and we'll take their pictures. And then I'll email them to their parents with a cute little graphic around it that I'm gonna make in PicMonkey. And when we get done doing that, I have some jumbo pink pom-poms that we're gonna use to throw through the little face hole. And that'll be one of the party games. So that's what I have set up so far. And right now I'm in the middle of making cupcakes and um, I will show you more tomorrow once I get everything set up. So this is the final party set up with the balloons, our little station over there. And then we just put these balloons on the sticks. I wanted an alternative to helium tanks, so it's got these little pink faces at the Dollar Tree. And put these balloons on the little sticks. And then we have the curtain going between the living room and the kitchen. Same thing with the balloons here in this little centerpiece, except I just trimmed the sticks and made them a little bit shorter. And then I have the crafts all set up. And the birthday girl gets to wear this little birthday princess uh, sash I got at the Dollar Tree. And that's her chair. And then all this stuff's pretty much the same. I just have the Pink Alicious book. This does not belong there. Um, on a plate stand just for decoration. And my oldest daughter's actually going to read it at the party. And then the cupcakes that I made last night. Didn't need the third layer on here of the cupcake stand. So I just took it off and we put like a little fake flower in there. And I made the cupcakes and iced them and everything myself. And then my friend at Panera gave us these little sugar hearts that they use on their cupcakes at Panera. So that are, those are the cupcakes. And the only thing left to do is the punch, which I'll do a little bit closer to time. But basically it's just um, ginger ale, rainbow sherbet, and 
um, Hawaiian punch and you can kind of mix it to your own proportions if you want it more tangy you'd put more ginger ale if you want it more mild and fruity you put more Hawaiian punch so that one's just a recipe we've used for every party since the kids were you know little that is the pink delicious party setup the kids will be getting here in about 40 minutes and I wanted to film it before everything got torn to pieces <laughs> so that's it